Hello everyone and welcome back to Little Book's Great Stories. I hope you all had a wonderful Thanksgiving. But now, it's time for Christmas. And today we're going to be reading The Biggest Little Boy. Luca wants to get the biggest Christmas tree in the entire world, but he can't seem to find the right one. Let's read and find out what happens with Luca's Christmas tree. Please subscribe to Little Book's Great Stories and let's begin. The Biggest Little Boy, A Christmas Story On a tree-lined block in the big, busy city lived a little boy named Luca, who loved big things. Big trucks, big toys, big buildings, big buses, big bulldozers. Big St. Bernard's, big bowls of pasta, big statues, but especially big, big trees. Since he was a little boy, Luca had tried to climb the biggest tree at Triangle Park. Each year he made it a little bit higher and higher but never all the way to the top. You see, climbing big trees made Luca feel big. Luca sighed. It's not easy being little, Luca said to his parents each night as he lay in bed. In the big, busy city, the big grown-ups would bump into him. They just didn't seem to see him down there. They were way too busy looking up. It seemed like everything special was up. So, Luca decided he would look up too. It was nearly Christmas, and more than anything, Luca wanted a big Christmas tree. The biggest Christmas tree on his block. The biggest Christmas tree in the big city. Can't we cut down the big, big tree in the middle of Triangle Park? Luca begged his parents. Can't we bring that tree home? He pleaded. Maybe we can borrow the one in the window, Luca exclaimed. We'll know our tree when we see it, Luca's parents assured him. Each day on his walk home from school, Luca passed the Christmas tree market on the corner of Cranberry Street. Fraser Furs, Balsam firs, white pines, all lined up from littlest to biggest. As he passed by each tree, brushing his mittens along the prickly pines, Luca daydreamed about coming home with the biggest one of all and decorating it with endless strings of lights and the popcorn and cranberry garlands he'd made with his mom, hanging giant candy canes on its branches and topping his tree with an enormous shining star. But none of these trees was big enough. One crisp late December afternoon, after most of his neighbors had trees aglow in their windows, Luca and his mom walked down Cranberry Street, past the Christmas tree market. He was staring up, up, up at the not quite big enough trees when... He tripped! A little tree had fallen out of its stand and onto the sidewalk. Luca dusted off his pants and stood up. He picked up the little tree and plopped it back in its stand. It wasn't big. It wasn't tall. Its branches were crooked and needles were missing. The little tree was anything but what Luca had wanted. But somehow, it seemed to be just right. Perfect, actually. Just the way it was. Luca smiled at the tree, and the tree seemed to smile back. I found my tree! Luca exclaimed. You see... Luca had been so busy looking up that he missed the special things right in front of him. Special came in every size. We never thought anyone would buy this little guy, the Christmas tree man, Francois, said to Luca. But I'm glad you wanted him. Beaming, Luca lifted his tree and carried it three long blocks home all by himself. That night... Luca would wrap his little tree with garland and place its favorite baseball cap on the highest branch. Luca lay in bed, staring up at the glow-in-the-dark stars on his ceiling. 
He felt big, and he was. He had a big heart for things big and small, and it was Luca's heart that made him the biggest little boy in the big, busy city. Thank you so much for listening to today's Read Aloud. Please come back again next week for more and more great stories here at Little Books Great Stories.